The most news in the morning. CNN's American Morning. Weekday, 6 a.m. Eastern. She was just in the highest grossing movie of all time, trying to preserve, preserve the moon Pandora. Now actress Sigourney Weaver is trying to help save planet Earth. When acidity gets too high, shells dissolve. Today we're in a really remarkable history of the ocean. A hundred years ago it was inexhaustible. You couldn't touch it, you couldn't harm it. In a hundred years, it might be dead. Tell us, uh, first of all, for folks at home who might not have heard of this, this is called the other CO2 problem. What is ocean acidification? Right. Well, you know, America loves its oceans. We, we love our ocean sports and fish and sea life, and a large part of our economy comes from oceans. And one of the things that scientists have realized as we've increasingly used um, uh, fossil fuels is that the impact on the oceans, which we didn't know about, is that uh, the carbon dioxide mixing with seawater forms carbonic acid. So the ocean is 30% more acidic than it was at the start of the Industrial Revolution. And unless we curb carbon emissions, which this um, Congress, you know, is enacting a bill, hopefully, to, to curb carbon emissions, if we don't do that, within another 50 years, some of our most precious sea life, uh, you know, the whole chain of life that makes shells, uh, will be unable to make those shells. It'll be 30% even more acidic than it is now. In the clip we saw, and this is from the uh, documentary that you narrated called uh, Acid Test, we, we saw mm -hmm. shells dissolving in ocean conditions expected 20, 90 years from now, about 90 mm -hmm. years' time, if the current level of CO2 emission uh, goes on. But what are, the, what are the implications for sea life and, and for people who rely on the oceans for their livelihoods, for food sources, and, you know, too, the, the oceans are a real measure of health of the planet. Absolutely. Um, I mean, for all those reasons, uh, scientists and, and citizens are very concerned. We're already seeing the impact. We don't need to wait 90 years. For instance, the wild oysters off the coast of the, of the northwest of America haven't been able to reproduce in the wild for the last five years, and scientists are pretty sure it's be because of the uh, carbonic acid, the acidification of that area. They're already seeing that plankton in Antarctica um, is their shells are 30 percent less strong. And when these creatures can't make their shells, they're, they're putting all their energy into making shells instead of reproducing. So it will have a huge impact on the whole chain of the whole food chain. And certainly it will have a huge impact on all the economies uh, that, that depend on the ocean for fisheries and uh, tourism and everything else. And certainly for our whole heritage as Americans, we really, you know, we come from seafaring stock, a yeah. lot of people, and, and we really depend upon the oceans for quality of life. Right. You know, we, we, should, we should mention too, Sigourney, that uh, the film Avatar, which had a very heavy environmental message, is coming out mm -hmm. on, on DVD today. There were, there were some people who were critical of it, thinking that it was too much of an environmental lecture. And, and at the same time as we talk about all of this on, on this Earth Day, it's interesting to note that more and more people are becoming skeptical of this whole idea of global warming and its effects. Do you have any idea why that's happening? You know, I think it's probably fear and denial. Um, I, I, what I found traveling around the world for Avatar is that um, everyone around the world is actually aware that our Earth is changing and that we do need to enact legislation to curb the emission of, uh, you know, the use of fossil mm -hmm. fuels. And it's time really to encourage our Congress to put aside their differences and enact legislation to create a strong green energy economy. Um, you know, if, if uh, the science to me is, is very sure and um, uh, we, and even if there's only, you know, a 50% chance that all these things were, will come true, I think we need to act now. Because certainly the measurements they've done in the oceans, mm -hmm. which have seemed for years to be endlessly forgiving of whatever we do to them, it's having a huge impact on the ocean. And we're going to see it increasingly. And it's going to have an even bigger impact on our estuaries where the freshwater meets the seawater. The acidification will have an even stronger impact there on, on, on those fisheries and those economies. So, you know, you can sit around arguing a little bit about whether all this is true. But frankly, you know, I've been reading the science for quite a while now, and I'm completely convinced. And I think a lot of our congressmen are, too. Um, because I've met with them before.